everyone and welcome back to Fratini's channel. Um, today I wanted to do a quick flip through of my one, well, one of my latest colouring books. This is Calm Colour by Numbers by David Woodroff. Um, this is, oops, this is a, re a really thick book. Um, it does retail for £6.99. Um, I didn't pay that much for it, but I will put a link to this particular book off of Amazon um, in the description box below. Um, but this has got 60 colour by number images um, and it's designed to promote calm and relaxation. Um, each picture is numbered so that by following the colour key you can build up a beautiful image to be proud of. From nature and animals to art, dance and meditation there is an image for every occasion. So pick your pencils, put your worries aside and get colouring. Now I hadn't seen anyone else um, do any pictures out of this book. Um, it was actually a recommendation from Amazon, so I thought, why not? Let's give it a try, because I do like the colour by number um, books. Um, so I'm not going to do many spoilers, because that's what the pictures look like coloured in. Um, you can actually colour in these segments here if you wish to. <clears throat> so in the front couple of pages in the introduction it does say colouring is a fantastic way to unwind and focus your mind and this book of calming colour by number images has been designed to do just that. The collection includes animals and landscapes, decorative patterns, optical illusions and images inspired by art, dance and meditation. Spend a little time matching your coloured pencils to the colours in the key. You can even label each one with a number to make things easier. Then choose an image and carefully start to build up the colour, taking your time over the detail and small colour areas. The image will slowly start to come together and you should find the process of colouring itself a relaxing escape from the pressures of the everyday. And again, you can choose to colour in this part if you want to. So this is the first picture. Now I'm not sure you can see that all that greatly. Um, I might need to just adjust the camera a little. Bear with me so I can put the so I can put the um, autofocus. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, so each picture, um, if you can see, the numbers are very, very tiny. The areas that you actually colour in are quite small. So I think this would be an excellent book if you were using fine liners, for example. Now, because the colours are so, like the key is so tiny, it is very clear. So it is quite easy to see. The paper is lovely and thick. It's very smooth. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It is all one-sided, so I guess you could use markers, anything like that that you wanted. Obviously, there might be a little bit of bleed through if you was using markers, but if you just put a page protector in between the pages, then I can't see why there would be any issue. But as you can see, every, every little segment here has a number which corresponds to the key, which is on the inside cover, inside of the back cover, I should say. So we have leave white, so if it's not got a symbol, then a number, then we just leave it white. In this case, 12, which is the background, is going to be a sky blue. So obviously we're going to be colouring the entire background in a blue. So you've got yellow, light orange, dark orange, cream, red, dark red, pink, violet, dark pink, dark purple, light blue, sky blue, medium blue, dark blue, Yellow, green, medium, green, bright green, dark green, tan, light brown, dark brown, light grey, dark grey and black. So you do have the colour key that folds out from the back page. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually see these designs that clearly because I don't think they're really designed for you to be able to see what they are in detail until they're coloured in. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing this one is a tree of some kind. Um, this one's quite obvious. It's it looks like it's a parrot. Um, so I'm guessing this is going to be very vibrant and colourful. 
This one is a ballerina. This one's a windmill. Um, this looks like it's maybe the ocean, the clouds, the sun, and maybe a few sand dunes, perhaps. Um, this one is looks like a lady who looks like she's got a long flowing dress, possibly. Um, like I say, it's quite difficult to work out exactly what the picture is until it's all coloured in. Um, it looks like she's asleep on a bench or on a bed, like on the edge of a bed. Um, well, we've got a couple of people at the foot of a tree, it looks like here. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Then we have... Then we have, like, just four pictures to colour in, basically. Um, a bunny rabbit. Uh, ooh, a pineapple. Pineapple, melon, cherries and a strawberry. This one is... Looks like the cliffs of Dover. So we've got the ocean, we've got the cliffs... This one is a jigsaw, um, so we're colouring in each piece of, the piece of the jigsaw in a different colour. Um, a man and woman with his top hat, her in all her, her finery, in her gown. Um, a mandala. Another one with some cliffs, maybe the fields. I'm guessing that's going to be like snow on the, on the mountain. We've got some tree and wooded area and etc. on there. Um, here we've got, looks like a rose with a bee. A couple of bees. Um, this guy looks like he, well, is it a woman? I think it might be a woman do, doing um, a yoga pose. Then we have another lady within this picture. Just a head and shoulders. Um, I can't work out what that one is. I don't know. I can't tell you what that one is. Um, this one looks like it's just a looks like a park scene. So we've got a man and a lady here with the umbrella. Um, a couple of people walking around. Yeah, I think this is a park. People sitting on the grass having a picnic. Maybe this guy here is chilling out. Um, yeah, it looks like it's just people just relaxing on the grass another pattern um, this one looks quite oriental a cockerel and a few little baby chicks um, again that's quite difficult to see until it's coloured in but the areas are super super tiny so this like I say is, is ideal for like your your fine liners another oriental one here looks like a buddha another mandala mandala um another pattern a horse the head of a horse with his head over the the fence um this looks another an oriental picture so he's got his staff here by the look of it. He's got his crown. He's got all his finery. He's reading a book. Is it a spell book perhaps? A hot air balloon. Um, some more flowers it looks like on this one. Another jigsaw puzzle. Um, this looks like a duck or a, a goose perhaps. In flight. This looks like another mountain. Some more patterns. Um, this looks like an autumn scene, so it's. I'm guessing this is going to be like a different, different coloured leaves. This one is. Is this like a partridge, perhaps? Wait, it's a bird of some description, sitting in the tree on a branch. I don't know if it is a partridge. I'm not sure um this one is another pattern this looks like it's going to be um a bit of an optical illusion again these sections are super super tiny so you can just about make out the numbers you can't see the numbers that greatly on here because if my autofocus is not switched on but but yeah that looks very very detailed and it looks like it would send my camera into spiraling out of control 
um, an owl which is a very intricate with lots and lots of different colors we have this looks like a jack of um, a pack of cards then we have a teacup with some cupcakes and some spoons yeah lots of cakes mm, yummy um, another pattern this one is palm trees I'm guessing this is like the ocean so and this is the beach so that looks like it's a nice relaxing beach scene another pattern um, some fishies they look like clownfish um, another pattern another oriental picture looks like um, this lady is mixing something in her what do they call it is it poultice mortar and poultice I think I might have gotten that wrong but um, this one is I'm not entirely sure but I'm guessing this is some kind of mountain and like for it like wooded area I can, from what I can see um, another lady doing um, a yoga pose the namaste this looks like a like an amphibian is it a lizard or a chameleon perhaps another pattern uh, another picture that looks like a, like an oriental lady she's reading a book it looks like she might be sitting up against a tree I'm not entirely sure unless that's a pillow that she's leaning up against I don't really know again these pictures I think would be better once they're colored in and then you can work out exactly what it is that you're coloring this looks like um, a goldfish perhaps um, this looks like a forest wooded area um, in the countryside um, with a little cottage there smack in the middle some seashells <clears throat> um, some butterflies with a like mandala type effect another lady here um, <coughs> she's I think she's like writing something or a deep in thought while she's trying to write looks like she's writing music actually because that looks like a harp um, this one I think is some flowers in a vase a broken vase by the look of it <coughs> excuse me I've just developed a tickly cough all of a sudden another mandala another oriental lady um, another this looks like a sunset with the waves the sky and the sun as it's setting and that's it so the back cover does say that since the development of painting and colouring by numbers in the mid 20th century, this creative pastime has brought pleasure and artistic confidence to millions of people around the world. Compositions that were once the realm of professionals are now accessible to anyone with the patience, care and skillful handling to colour to complete. The numbers in the images correspond to the numbered colour key on the inside of this flap. Spend a little time matching your set of coloured pencils to the colours in the key. You can even label each pencil with a number to make things easier. You will find fully coloured versions of all the images inside the cover. So, yeah, if you want spoilers, take a look in there. There's all your pictures. But um, I'm looking forward to doing some of the pictures in here. I'm probably not going to do them all. Um, but there are a lot of pictures in here that I think I'm going to find really interesting because I, I don't know why I like colour by number so much um, so when I saw this and how cheap it was I thought I'm going to have to buy it so just to recap it's some um, calm colour by numbers by David Woodruff and it does retail for $6.99 I can't remember exactly off the top of my head how much this actually cost on Amazon um, but I will put a link to this particular book from the UK Amazon so please feel free to to check out the description and have a look at the book for yourself um, that pretty much concludes this video I hope you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos of this this variety and I shall see you all next time have a great day everyone and I'll see you on the next video take care
Bye.